Welcome back aboard our old project 35 foot catamaran, which is quite a lot different to our previous boat, which is a little eight meter monohull. It was like a living in a camping van for the last two, two years. years. And now we actually have a good apartment, but it also has a lot of work as well. And we're gonna focus on the galley and kitchen area this, this week. week. It's important for us to have somewhere to live. And another thing, people asked us, how much did we pay for this project catamaran? Well, it cost us 11K. 11K. No beating around the bush. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. The boss is putting on the to-do list and deadlines so that we keep on track. And I think it's very satisfying to cross off the tasks. Change cabinet into fuel tank storage. I was just like cleaning it. <laughs> so I'm just fixing the hinge on the oven. But I need to ask Nadiana, do you want something that looks perfect or do you want something that works really well? But you think this looks perfect? No, no, this is for it works but it doesn't look perfect. Uh, I think uh, it works well, it's, it's good enough. And I just cleaned out our fridge. I'm really happy that it doesn't have any funny smell and I took every little bit out to clean. And it's a very, very well functional fridge. It still feels like a dream that we have a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like, I found myself just like saying, I'm so happy all the time now, the more I work on a boat, because I feel like it's a dream come true. <laughs> I've worked out now pretty much where all the wires go, also about the AC panel, which connects to a Victron smart charger, which is awesome. So the batteries are always being charged now. No funny business, everything's working really well. So that is awesome. So we can basically use all this hooked up to shore power and it doesn't matter. So here's the ghetto fix. But will it work? That's the question. <gasps> Whoa, it's so difficult. <laughs> yeah. And that is how I hinge my ovens. Tune in next week for more oven hinging. I'm already very happy with our progress. This is done. So only disassembling the cabinet and Mark has to finish the to-do list even when it's time to rest. I think maybe we will get uh, over this high, this excitement in maybe one, two week. And then we can like rest and work and rest and work. But good job, Captain. You are very capable, <laughs> I feel. Thanks very much. Day one of moving on board. Savage eating, no dining table, stand up. <laughs> and munch. The actual food is here. <laughs> Chicken drumstick a crazy old pan. Oh, it's nailed in as well. Nailed and screwed. So we're in the kitchen area and we're taking apart these very heavy, very heavy wooden panels. And this is like a hardwood. And it all needs reforming and reshaping this whole area. I like that play. <laughs> We're on fire. <laughs> I think in this speed, we probably can be in the water in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're literally gonna be working pretty much nine to five for the next three months. The idea is to get the boat in the water at the end of May, where we can go and live at anchor for a few months and then reassess our situation. But me and Nadiana, I would say we've not been as happy as we are now for a long time, right? Agreed. 
because on good tidings we felt so safe and everything was i guess plain sailing and we just wanted to challenge ourselves with something and if you don't take risks in life if you don't step out of your comfort zone then you won't achieve anything so let this be either an education on what not to do with buying boats or maybe an inspiration to see what's possible behind this box is a big beefy chain plate <laughs> very solid oops Space is being creative. Nice. Now I can fit in there. <laughs> this is my hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All this is going to be opened up today. Oh, nice. It's the back of the bookshelf. And we probably will lower down a full level. So we have a box absolutely full of tools and loads of stuff so we have copious amounts of uh, heat guns every single tool that you could think however we're off out to buy more tools trash picking. Good who, who are these little savages what have we got here aluminium hole whoa it's only small, that's so cool. It's he, the perfect size. He told that all we needed to do is stand here and then use the pocket oh. glue. Yeah, this, this and that's maybe. pretty much it. But yeah, and it's aluminium hull, so yeah. wow, with that engine on it, it's going to be with insane. Two in the front. Now we got a nice thingy for free of charge. <laughs> Alright, back to work. Bumpy ride. Like, mm -hmm. There is a plug just on the table where we want it to lower it. So we will rewire these take these wires and lower down the wood. We'll have a little AC here. Tiny flathead screwdriver, please. Yes. And the tape. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it'd be nice if we have a little like window here. You can see yeah. in the hole. A little service hole. <laughs> this tape is to stop it short circuit, short flat, short circuiting, which is gonna cause a fire. Although they're all fused at the start of the wire, but why take the risk? Yeah. Safety oh. is sexy. Safety is the new sexy. Woohoo! <laughs> Another half a kilo of wood taken out. <laughs> nice. This cat will be flying. <laughs> I would say Mark is a really good amateur carpenter. He actually thinks through all the little tiny bits. <laughs> I feel like if I was doing it, I would be thinking much less than him and making much more mistake. I mean, look at this. It's not exactly professional. But you said amateur. You did say amateur. Yeah. Definitely amateur. But good amateur though. Aw, aw, you're too <laughs> kind. 
400 grams. Tell them what you told me before. I said use the hammer. What did you say? You mean use the hammers. <laughs> Last bits. Oh. My sweater totally don't look like I'm working, <laughs> but uh, this sweater has been degraded to working clothes since we've ha we have been wearing it for the last two weeks. Yeah, didn't change at all. <laughs> <laughs> Still need to relax for the hard work. <laughs> Some, I'm too tired to cook dinner and it's such a mess so we can't really cook dinner. So we're gonna power through this two days. Tomorrow we will get the kitchen ready so that we can start cooking good food. We're just having some cheese and bread. <laughs> the neighbors must love us. So while I sand the cobbets, I'm gonna uh, soak these in salt and vinegar. Mark said you can use ketchup, paste, tomato sauce, and that's basically what it's kind of made of. So let's have a try. And I purchased this giant bucket of vinegar for three euros. Whoa. So, this is slowly starting together. We are reusing all the good hardwood marine ply. This old door will form the tabletop. <laughs> These are the exact little jobs that you don't expect but happen and take you a lot of time such as tearing down this sticker but I'm so grateful that to our previous owner leaving us a lot of amazing tools so which takes us half of the time to do the job <laughs> The Grandmaster is still working in the night Look inside our Wine cabinet. Whoa! Slidey. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> How can you get those off? <laughs> <laughs> it's good quality wood. It's like. Yeah. It's really been done well. It's just not good. <laughs> Day three of refitting. Uh, we had a table and one chair and one paint box. <laughs> but. Bon appétit. Thank you very much. No worries. <laughs> Good days are in front. Look at the size of the mosquito that I just killed. Woo! This place is pretty famous for mosquitoes because of all the salt flats. Damn. Do you remember the mosquitoes last time? I already feel the each. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got this side of the galley looking roughly how we want it. But for this chart table, I'm gonna actually lower it a little bit so that it can also work as a sort of dining table, which you can sit from here and here. I originally cut it a little bit too high, but I'm gonna lower that down. And I've also got a load of advice from my dad because I wasn't happy with my cuts. They would probably look fine with trim, but I'm not really happy with them. So my dad suggested one thing, just to temporarily screw in a little guide so the jigsaw can just rest on here and get a nice straight cut. Sorry. 
so these brass handles has been seat sitting in the vinegar and salt for two days and they are looking good <laughs> just like it's new so we have decided to finish one area first and then proceed with the other ones so now we're just trying to finish everything that's in this kitchen and galley area and i'm i'm really really grateful for jean pierre the last owner he really left us all the tools we need i'm just planing these uneven cuts Now Diana's revamping these little drawers which are full of goodies such as radar, Furumo radar, VHF, also a nice hand compass. This uh, drawer I'm using a rustic style which is inspired by my sister-in-law she does super super nice like rustic cottage furniture refurbish and uh, I know you guys are watching and hi bunny <laughs> link in the description to our sisters at the, at the page at she the, has uh, really nice furnitures day four of the cooking we have a chopping board <laughs> Just a random plywood that we cut off, but uh, now it's gonna be random. Later, it's gonna look nice. I'm gonna make a nice big chopping board for myself. So, here's the woodwork in progress. Table lowered, that bit cut out. Tomorrow will come the trim, and it's gonna look super nice. And then, now Diana's gonna paint it a brilliant white and this whole space is going to be transformed Whoa, fancy <laughs> fancy dinner yeah those Table. lights are spectacular <laughs> ambience and this sitting is perfect for one pot meal we hate washing up so we just eat out of one pot a lot of the time <laughs> so we've been waking up with a little bit of a, a drip coming and it's coming in through here I've been trying to trace it this morning and it's coming from the water heater so I've already taken off the hoses but I'm gonna replace all the hoses it's really simple you've just got the water comes up through the heater down and to the tap and then coming down the porthole we get to the water and here there is also a bit of a leak here. I've just tried to clean it up a little bit, but it's just gonna be a case of cutting hose and hose clamping it on here and just replace everything. A lot of people keep saying that the cat would be a money pit, but we just can't see where the main costs come from. Apart from if there's a big problem with the engine and the hydraulics, but that's just a case of if and with any kind of boat, if something that like that goes wrong, of course it's gonna be expensive. That's just what life on a boat is. Another thing as well is mooring. Now mooring, yes, it is gonna be expensive. To keep this boat here for one year is the same as keeping Good Tidings, our last boat, in a marina in Wales for a year. So it's, it's not too much more in terms of boatyards. However, marinas, of course, are a lot more expensive. So we were checking on Navali last night and for one night for this boat was 20 euros. <laughs> but that's because it's low season. Uh, I mean, in high season, it's probably going to be about 40 euros per night in a marina. Uh, but we're going to be spending a lot more time at anchor and we did actually spend a lot of time on anchor anyway. It's starting to look like a bit of a dump under the boat. <laughs> uh, but I'm just having a rummage through this cart, which is being taken away. 
but there's loads of stuff. Question is, will it still work? Loads of old paints, deck paint, uh, anti-slip additive, Hempel paints, all pretty much full, just rusty as old heck. So, there's that. Check out these mast steps. Also, two big bronze or brass propellers and loads of little fittings and strange cleats and all this little fans also <laughs> old super old epoxy resin Woohoo! so i might just try that just out of curiosity loads of fittings and all that stuff also i found little winches one antal and one lumar a little bit old but still pretty cool here we are at the trash seeing if there's any trash available <laughs> not looking very good today however there's a big hydraulic cable there so if our hydraulics fail there's a cable there Anything you like today from the trash, madam? Maybe some aluminium plates from the washing machine. Uh, aluminium plate for the kitchen to go in front of the stove. Yeah. Well, maybe later. Cool. We are going to go to the little acastillage, chandelier. And we're trying to get some water pipe because we need to get that water system leak free and for cooking for daily life for cooking yeah that's why we're in a rush so we go to the expensive shop <laughs> yeah so we only need about two meters of pipe and then we're all good so this is a little chandelier here a castellage diffusion expensive but it's got a lot of stuff <laughs> voila here is our newly purchased 116 uh, dee 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 dee. 16 millimeters <laughs> inner diameter, 22 millimeters outer diameter. It cost us how much? Five something. Five euros something. Extortion. <laughs> I'm going to wear it as a necklace to earn back the money. But it's cool, we've got a nice, uh, it's Jabsco pump and it's uh, pretty nice. These little ends clip in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up every little bit of pipe. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna switch on the water pressure and let's go look at it from the other side. Nadiana, can you switch on the water pressure? I also need to turn on the water. Okay. It's leaking. So I underestimated how tight those Jubilee clips need to be. The sink's working. The shower is working. Oh. That's not good. Showering my jumper. The blade came out. The blade, it didn't just come out, it snapped. Oh really? This is our emergency refitting construction site traffic board. <laughs> so raw. All right, question time. I'd like to get your advice on a job that we're not gonna do right away, but in the future sometime, and that is paint the decks. And I've not got any experience painting decks. It looks like there's already an anti-slip deck additive in the paint and it's just been painted on all over the deck. But what type of paint would you suggest? 
and would you suggest just to mix in loads of additive and just paint the whole thing let us know and if you could really help us out a lot with a little like on this video that would be absolutely very 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 appreciated uh thanks for all the new subscribers that have joined us it's been absolutely amazing uh seeing you guys in the comments and thank you ever so much to you guys flashing up on the screen you know exactly what you're flashing up on the screen for thank you very 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 much you guys are so generous thank you from the bottom of mine and nadiana's hearts well next week hopefully more progress and um we will probably start tackling some of the more important seaworthiness boat bits so stay tuned for that next friday and uh see you in that video bye bye